this guy that I'm going to introduce you to right now, you think when he's talking to you that he's talking about interest rates and lending terms and all that kind of stuff. Really, he's really talking about the state of the universe, international relations, cosmic consciousness. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my new friend, Mr. Russ Wilcox from Midwest Bank, everybody, right here. Russ Wilcox! Ha-ha! But that's how it goes. Hey, good to see you. Good to see you. Great to see you, Russ. I didn't know where I was going. But that, that Ozzy Osbourne thing was profound, man. I've never listened to the words. That's really good. <laughs> I always listen to it so loud that I can't uh, That's right. I know he's, what he's saying. So he's a, he, he is a classic rocker, no doubt about it. <laughs> well, tell me, you know, you're a well-known uh, uh, lender and borrower and not banker, obviously, here in this community. But, you know, innovation is the theme. D do you agree with us that innovation is an important consideration for all the companies and, and uh, organizations here in the region? Tell me a little bit about your, your gut reaction to innovation in this area. Well, I think it's, I think for us it's, it's a huge deal because, you know, we deal in, an, in, in, a, in a region that is challenged with location, workforce, all those kind of things. And I think it's important for us to always be looking to think outside of the box and find new and innovative ways to do things. Yeah. Because we, we, don't have the, we don't have the interstate, we don't have the port, we don't have the, the, the major airport right here. So we have, to, we have to work a little bit harder for, for what we get. Absolutely. And maybe, maybe this will be uh, the beginning of some, some of that. Yeah. You know, tell us a little bit about innovation in the banking industry. I mean, it, it, it's a pretty, uh, it's going through some incredible, uh, uh, I don't want to say revolutionary, but there's some very interesting enhancements with apps, you know, and mm -hmm. online banking and some interesting services that are emerging. Tell us what, as you, as you look at the industry in broad strokes, what are the most innovative things that you see in the financial services industry today? Well, you, you hit on a couple of them. I think, you know, uh, innovate, there, we've seen a lot of innovation in the way in which we deliver services, product yeah. delivery. Right. Uh, you know, very much on the consumer side, that's where a lot of it's been, and that's been driven by the consumer's desire for convenience. Yeah. You know, you talk about remote, consumer remote deposit capture, where you can take a picture of your check and deposit in the bank, or, you know, we see that on the commercial side where people can deposit checks, large quantities of checks. Uh, I think there's some other things that are, that are a little bit innovative, you know, with, uh, with virtual currencies. You know, we're not seeing much of that around here, but I think that's going to be a very, very innovative kind of a thing that we're dealing with. Are you talking forward. about Bitcoin? Is that Bitcoin kind of would be an okay. example of a virtual currency that's, that's... So that's not a fad. You think that's going to be around and it's going to penetrate and mature? And, you know, and I, I don't know that I'm smart enough or at the pay level that I can tell you if that's a fad or not, but I know that... Uh, Somehow I don't think that's a problem. There was, you know. I, I know that 20 years ago, if you'd have told me that we could take a picture of a check and deposit in a bank, yeah. I would have told you you were crazy. Yeah. yeah. So when somebody says things like virtual currencies and Bitcoin, it make, does make me at minimum say, hmm. That could be a big deal. Absolutely. You know, as, as you think about innovation in your organization here in Norfolk, how do you come at it? Do, do, do you say, well, we need to think about the process as a whole, or we need to find a few talented people that can kind of, that are, that are comfortable with innovation, can kind of help us steer forward? Or do you sit back and have a strategic planning session and say, well, let's find some new product for 2015 that's kind of cutting edge? Where, where do you begin? We at bankers, as, an, as by nature, being conservative, we probably follow some of the more traditional tracks of, of innovation, sure, you know, which sure. a lot of times is driven out of strategic planning type processes, some brain wa you know, brainwashing, I almost said brainstorming. Probably some brainwashing goes along with that, too. You have to talk to Pat Hughes about that. Well, well, let me interrupt you and say this. You know, a, a guy who knows more about your industry than, than I do, uh, he said that banks are known for the fast follower strategy. In other words, <laughs> they, 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 they try to hesitate. They, don't, they try not to move ahead too fast on any one thing until somebody else does. Right. And then if it works, then you know, we, yeah. all, we all try to yeah. uh, follow. Is that, yeah. is that true? Well, I think opinion? it's absolutely true because history has shown, in, specifically in the financial services industry, that innovation at some level has kind of been punished. I mean, if you're an There's innovator... There's risk there. There's risk. Yeah. Yeah, we're supposed to be managing risk. We're supposed to be conservative in the way we do things. So if you go, you, for those folks that have thought outside of the box, right. at times they've kind of been beat down a little bit and, and almost kind of put in their place. So it's, it's kind of a hard industry to be truly innovative in. Yeah. But there's some people that are doing it. You know, Russ, I know you play a large role at the chamber and you're very much community oriented as well as, of course, the, the professional role that we're talking about right here. What's your, as we kind of wrap things up, what's your take on on the, the community as a whole and, and its approach towards innovation. What, what, what are some things we can do or are, are thinking about that, that would be innovative for the city of, of Norfolk and the region in general? I, yeah. 
I think you have the scope. You might as well share with us what's sure. going through your brain. You know, I, I think the big thing that I see, not only with the chamber, but you know, being a, a small business lender is sometimes I think we overthink innovation. Hmm. I think we get wrapped up in this concept that we have to come up with this completely new innovative idea that no one else has done before. It's a good point. You know, I look around the room here, and you know, I got a ton of friends sitting out here. I, there's a, there's a, a lot of very knowledgeable people yeah. that are sitting right out here. That if we would just share ideas, you know, I look at other industries and say, if you would just, if, if we could take some of what you do in that industry, open it up, and implement it in yeah. the in the banking industry, we could be very successful. Yeah. And I, I don't know that we have to always recreate the wheel. Yeah. I think we can just maybe copy the wheel from somebody else and, 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 and see some success there. But to take advantage of that, you do have to broaden your, your vision sufficiently so that you can actually examine some other industries and some other yeah. business models and import them selectively, right? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. That's exactly what you're trying to say. Absolutely. You said it so <laughs> All well. All right. Russ you, Wilcox. You read my mind. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Mr. Okay, Russ sorry. Wilcox, everybody. Right. Yes, indeed. Nuggets of gold. Nuggets of gold. Yeah, see, we're, we're here to be substantive. We're here to share actual knowledge that's actionable, stuff you can use in your business tomorrow, or at the very least, to prompt a thoughtful conversation with your cohorts in the very near term. That's what this is all about. We're not just up here uh, chatting. Uh, uh, we want to go somewhere with this knowledge and create traction. No for your people made the difference. No for you shed your heart inside, no fault. Your people made the difference, no fault.